with how much compassion they want to show to Esau. So, that, so the most I know how to intervene for the elect's sake. Sure. Sure. And that is what's going on because if, if the most I do intervene, hell just gonna keep enlarging until what? Until the death of Israel. Because that is the goal of Esau to actually eradicate Israel. And if you leave it up to two thirds, Esau will achieve that. That's right. But I, yeah, I'm not gonna answer that. That basically what Brother Amon was talking about here. Yeah? You were basically talking before we before came back. You were basically, you're basically talking about that. Right? Okay. So if you leave it up to two thirds, you're gonna reach. Oh, wait! Yeah, you know, Sam, I read this. This is um, Sam, you have some. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. uh, on the same, what do you call it? I know. I said, therefore, hell has enlarged itself and opened them up without measure and their glory and their multitude and their pomp and he that rejoices shall be sent in it. Yeah, so he's all gonna be sent in it, just like we brought a red. That, that high tree gonna be cast, gonna become the low tree, which is Esau. Yeah. Alright, this is Psalms 14 verse 7. All that the salvation of Israel will come out of Zion. When Yahweh bring it back the captivity of his people, it says, Jacob shall rejoice and Israel shall be glad. Right. So we're gonna rejoice and be glad. Right. We, we're gonna rejoice and be glad in that day. In that day yeah. And that's what we're looking forward to. That's hey, right. all the hell that we're going through, which when we just think about the kingdom, as much as we think about the kingdom, it can far exceed. Yeah. But as much as you think about the kingdom, hey, it's like it's like, you know, sometimes like like and, I mean, I, I never did drugs, but I could just talk off of from what I hear, from what I see on TV. It's like when they take a hit, you go in this place, like, you know, it just, everything has, just don't matter. Cloud nine. <laughs> so it's like when you take, when you take over the kingdom, it's like you go in cloud now, like everything has just don't matter because, hey, one day, I can have a day. Can't, can't. 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 Isaiah 51. Yeah, it says, Look unto me, ye that follow after righteousness. Um, Isaiah 51, verse 1. So that, Look unto me, ye that follow after righteousness, ye that seek Yahweh. Look unto the rock when ye are hewn, and the hole of the pit when ye are dick. Look unto Abraham your father, and unto Sarah that bear you. For I call him alone, and bless him, and increase him. For Yahweh shall comfort Zion. He will comfort all her waste places, and he will make her wilderness like Eden, and her desert like the garden of Yahweh. Joy and gladness shall be found therein, thanksgiving and the voice of melody. Hearken unto me, my people, and give air unto me, O my nation, for a law shall proceed from me, and I will make my judgment to rest for a life of the people. Um, it says what we're going to be like Eden. So we can have Israel that, that wilderness over there right now we call land of Esau. Um, land of Israel. That's actually land of Esau. Okay. Because Israel not there. That's right. Alright? That is a that is a desert. That is like the Sahara. That is that extension of the Sahara Desert. Okay. Land of Israel. That is not the land of Israel. Okay. Because if Israel was there, the land wouldn't be looking like that. Okay. Alright? Tumbleweeds blowing all over the place and you have to bring in um fall, uh, fake trees. Gay parades, nah. That is not the land of Israel, that is the land of Edom. That is Solomon Gomorrah right now. Okay. When the righteous seed go back in and, and it flourish and grow, then it will be the land of Yashala. Yeah. The right. Yashala. But right now, that is the land of Adawa. Right? Sure. Right. 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 Um, these Hebrews chapter 1, verse 8 it says, But unto the Son he said, Thy throne, O God, is forever and ever. And the scepter of righteousness is the scepter of thy kingdom. Right? Now if the scripture says a scepter of righteousness is the scepter of our shy kingdom. Hmm. Romans 8 and 16. Joint heirs? Yeah. Come on. Understand? The elect one be we gonna be joint heirs with your house shy and that is what we're seeking after. Because okay. as the brother now say, when the righteous people go back in the land, then it won't flourish. Then the land going on give give out the increase. Right now over there is the land of Edom. And the, the prophecy states that Yahweh Shai is the one to bring back the Israelites into the land of Israel in the last days. And Yahweh Shai come here. So when Yahweh Shai come, that is when we go in and be beautified and glorified and not go off and all these all these wonderful things as the um, scripture promise. 
He said to Bashiola, This is Isaiah 32, verse 1. Behold, a king shall reign in righteousness, and princes shall rule in judgment. Princes shall rule in judgment. Is no red? Isaiah 32, verse 1. Can. Princes shall rule in judgment. Okay. You understand? Scripture said they shall call um, thy, thy officers peace. That's in Isaiah 60. All right? So we're gonna rule in righteousness. We, hey, hey, that the kingdom gonna be gonna be a good one, and that is the reason why it's gonna be everlasting kingdom because we ain't gonna go off no more. Okay. Right? We ain't gonna go off no more. Okay. What? Well. Isaiah um, ten verse eight. For he said, "Are not my princes altogether kings?" Because when I read back into um, Genesis thirty five verse ten to eleven, where he said, "Thy name shall no longer be called Jacob, but thy name shall be called." Israel, a nation and um, a multitude of nations shall come out of thee, and kings shall come out of thy loins. You understand? So, really and truly, Yashra, like he, Prince of the Most High. You understand? He say, and all, are not all my princes all together kings? You understand? So, even so, all, the, the hopefully, like, and basically, when, when um, Most High take away all our iniquity from um, Jake, hey, Israel will not be a nation of kings. Yeah, because the word prince don't necessarily just mean the son of a king, it just mean ruler. All right, a ruler. All right. This is Ezekiel thirty-six verse eight. But ye, O mountains of Israel, ye shall shoot forth your branches, and ye forth your fruit to my people of Israel, and for they are at hand to come. Hmm. And we are at hand to come. Uh, right, the, the, the time of salvation, right? Uh, uh, so we are at hand to come. Right, verse 9 For behold, I am for you, and I will return unto you, and ye shall be tilled and sown. And that just showing you that these people over there not fulfilling prophecy because the land ain't tilled and sown. You understand? You have to, to, to import um, plastic trees, you know, you know, fulfilling prophecies, Esau. It says, I will multiply men upon you and all the houses of Israel, even all of it, and the city shall be inhabited, and the way shall be built, and I will multiply upon you man and beast, and you shall increase and bring forth fruit, mm. which you're not doing right now. Mm. It's only when the royal seed goes in. Gun. And I will settle you after your old estates, Zechariah 8, 11, Bring back the old time days, you know. <laughs> After your old days, and will do better mm. unto you than your beginnings. Oh. So, hey, when you look at it, the peak of Israel back then with with, 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 uh, with Solomon, the Lord say he can do better than those days. Mm. 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 Right? Lord say he can do better. So, hey, the scripture say eyes have not seen and ears have not mm. heard. Sure. Scripture say we only see about a portion of the Lord's creation, so I we, we can't even begin to fathom what the kingdom gonna be like. Mm. Mm. Now we are saying last night on here is that if you see the most high tree beauty, you might dead. <laughs> you need a you really need a new body. Mm. <laughs> you might dead. I'm telling you. And you shall know that I am Yahweh. Mm. Yeah, I will increase men to walk upon you, even my people Israel. And that was showing you the not fulfilling prophecy. Because the scripture never said Israel and the Ishmaelites. Right, right, right. right now, the land divided between um, Ishmael and Esau. And Esau calling himself Israel right now. That is not, that is, they're not fulfilling prophecy. They're not the children of the Lord. Sure. The Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, when they go back into the land of Israel, that is when prophecy gonna be fulfilled in that land right. concerning the kingdom That's but right. as of now they're not they, they only fulfilling Ezekiel 36 and 5 all right that is all Esau fulfilling right now only read Ezekiel 36 and 5 the Lord said they appoint his land for their possession yeah, that is what they're fulfilling right now oh. yeah, yeah. but as for the benefits of the kingdom nah he's so even fulfilling prophecy as you know next thing basically fulfilling to when the scripture said the land shall not yield its strength unto thee yeah that too because he just cool so the scripture said um is isaiah 34 5 um isaiah 34 verse 5 basically they are the people of the most high curse forever can't 
nothing good going in uncle Walter. Who shall make pocket that put you more side me? Ah, who shall make shit that put you more side me pocket? I want to push it because, um, well, can I want to? Yeah, you will, you will. Um, because you were saying that, um, we, we had hand to come, right? And he's first John 3 and 2. It says, Beloved, now we are the sons of the Most High, and it doth not, it doth not yet appear what we shall be. But we know that when he shall appear, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. Understand? When the Lord Yahweh Hashem Yahweh shall appear, we gonna be like Him yeah. in that glorious and sinless body. Yeah, we can to die like this. die like this. Yeah. You understand? We gonna see Him as we are. And as the scripture say, righteousness is immortal. Yeah. So that is why gonna be an immortal king, an everlasting, because it's a righteous king now, ruled by the righteous people of the earth, the Israelites, the true biblical Israelites. Yeah. All right. This is um Luke five. My reading last week. So just to back up, uh, scripture, but I'm because I was reading in um Ezekiel thirty six. It says, "Put off for Jerusalem the garment of thy mourning and affliction, and put on the comeliness of the glory that cometh from the Most High forever." Righteousness is immortal from the Most High forever. Cast about thee a double garment of the righteousness which cometh from the Most High and set a diadem on thy head of the glory of the everlasting. For the Most High Yahweh will show thy brightness unto every country under heaven. For thy name shall be called of the Most High forever, the peace of righteousness and the glory of the Most High's worship. Arise, O Jerusalem, and stand on high, and look about toward the east, and behold, thy children gathered from the west. Which west is where the side, the, the Americas, right? Most I gonna get us from from the west. Yes. Yes. Can. Hey, hack. Slack. Slack. It's like 